Hey guys, want to know where to find the sexiest cougar in Seattle? Are you talking about me? No, definitely not. I'm talking about this cool cat in the next Mohai Minute. Well, I'm sorry when I saw you this morning, I couldn't remember you. We both know that the times are changing, there's nothing that we can do. Today we're in the museum's gallery looking at this stuffed cougar, or Felix Concolor as it's known in Latin. In 1965, it was donated to Mohai by none other than Eddie Bauer himself. That's right. Eddie Bauer isn't just a catalog where you can order your cozy winter clothes. He was actually a real person, born just outside of Seattle on Orcas Island in 1899. So we're looking at this letter that Eddie Bauer wrote dated January 22nd, 1965. And in it, he says that he is, um, quote, presenting this specimen of local cougar to help the Museum of History and Industry develop a rounded exhibit of Northwest animals. Well, that makes sense because Mr. Bauer was worried that the cougar was going extinct and that future generations would have no idea what a cougar looked like. I've never seen a cougar in the wild, have you? No, and I really don't want to see a cougar in the wild. You could probably guess that Eddie Bauer was an avid lover of the outdoors and outdoor sports. He decided to turn that passion into a profession when he opened up his tennis shop in 1920. But Eddie Bauer didn't truly make a name for himself until the 1930s when he invented the downfilled quilted parka. Now it was designed specifically to keep hunters and fishers warm during the colder months, but it completely revolutionized the way that we think of outdoor gear. Eddie also played a major role in outfitting the U.S. Air Force in World War II. Airmen discovered that his downfilled jackets were much warmer than anything that the Army provided. And here we actually have a B-9 parka and A-8 flight pants that were designed by Eddie Bauer in the 1940s for the Army Air Force. And they were created not only to keep the airmen warm when they were up in the airplanes, but also um, for buoyancy, to keep the airmen afloat if their airplane got shot down over water. Notice that the tag on the inside of this jacket has Eddie Bauer's name on it. This is important because Eddie Bauer was the only manufacturer allowed to put his name inside Army-issued gear. And because of this sly marketing tactic, Bauer developed huge demand for his clothes among Army men, even after the war had ended. But I think the coolest Eddie Bauer artifact in Mohai's collection is this. It's a Kara Koram parka, and it was worn by the famous mountaineer Pete Shuning when he attempted to summit K2 all the way back in 1953. So when you're putting on your ski gear this winter, just remember that Eddie Bauer didn't just make a sweet pair of long johns, but he's also a real person from Seattle.